Hey, good morning, everyone. Today is Friday, May the 7th, and this is your daily word of encouragement. So uh, since this past Wednesday night, uh, we've been talking about uh, the um, one another passages, uh, the past, the part of Romans 12 that we were in on Wednesday night was focused on um, on what discipleship looks like when it's lived out amongst each other. We talked about all the different one another uh, passages that there are, uh, especially in the New Testament. And so clearly God's design for us is to do life together and one of the um, most important ways we demonstrate really our love, our love for Him is by the way we love one another. And so all this week, you know, up until next Wednesday night's uh, time together at the break room, we're going to be focused on uh, scriptures that really hit home this importance of the way we, we see one another, the way we respond to one another, and the way ultimately that we demonstrate uh, love and kindness and, and God's grace towards each other. Uh, so today verse comes, today's verse comes out of Colossians chapter 3. And, and in this particular passage, Paul was writing to the church of Colossae, and uh, he uses the, the image or the metaphor of a wardrobe to kind of describe the, the old self, the person that we once were, and the new self, the person that we are now in Christ. And he talks about being clothed with, with, this, with this, new, you know, this new self that we have, you know, that we've taken off the old self. And you get this, this image in mind of, um, you know, if you've ever tried on clothes that you, know, that you had from, from, a, from a different era, um, not only because of the style might look, you know, out of place, but uh, maybe the clothes, you know, the clothes have clearly shrunk since they've been in storage. It wasn't because you got any bigger, but the clothes, just when you put them on, they just don't look quite right, right? They don't fit the right way. They don't look the right way. It's something about your, you know, your old self, the person that you were back when you wore them in those days. Well, the same is true when it comes to our life before Christ or uh, even as we've grown and matured in Christ. The person that we once were should not be the person that we now uh, that we now are, um, uh, the, the attitudes, the perspectives that we have, the, the way that we that see and treat other people, all that should be changing to become more and more Christ-like. Every day that we walk with him, we should be becoming more and more like him. And so uh, in verse 13 of that passage in Colossians 3, Paul says this, Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Let me read one more time. Bear with each other. And forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. Now, there are a lot of um, verses in that passage in Colossians 3 that I could have pulled out, but I felt like this one in particular, at least for me, is the most challenging. To bear with each other. This is not just to put up with one another, you know, to tolerate one another, but to bear to bear with each other, meaning that I'm with, you know, I'm with you. Through, through on this journey, uh, I'm not leaving you. I'm not going to forsake you. That we're, you know, we're doing this together. And even though I, you know, I push your buttons and you push my buttons, um, that we're part of uh, God's creation together. And that you, no matter who you are, uh, is are, are someone that I've been called to love. I'm someone that you've been called to love. And God created us to 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 do do this thing called life together. And so to bear with each other means that um, that I that I have patience. That I have the same sort of grace for you that God has had for me. And the, the ultimate way that we get to that place is, is forgiveness. Um, forgiveness is ultimately not something that um, that is between you and me. It's really between me and the Lord. It frees me to love you because I've, I've, I've turned you over to the Lord. I've surrendered you over to the Lord um, for him to bring about conviction in your life for whatever is necessary. But it, but it frees me from the desire to want to see, um, you know, you to try to, you know, to make right or to make up for what you might have done to hurt or offend me it means that I release you um, to God's power to do that, and it frees me up to love you once again, uh, to be kind to you once again, to pray for you once again. This is a hard verse, and it touches some very sensitive areas in our lives, so I just pray that you'll take some time today to to, to read it yourself, to, to let it kind of marinate in your mind and your heart, and something that you would come back to frequently. Um, if we're going to love Jesus well, that means we're going to have to learn to love others well, especially those in our lives that are often difficult to love. Let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this truth, this very difficult truth we hear in this, in this verse. And we're thankful, Lord, um, that, you, uh, that you chose to bear with us, that you chose to walk this journey with us, that you chose to forgive us, because without that, Lord, we would have no hope. So, Lord, I pray as we have received your grace, uh, that we would also freely um, show grace towards those that you place in our path each day. Um, Lord, we love you. We can't thank you enough for your great love for us. And, uh, Lord, I just pray that your love would come alive in us today. And we pray all this in your name. Amen. God bless everyone.